Hi everyone. So today I'm going to be talking about um, the T3 single pass compact uh, hair straightener. So I needed to get a hair straightener. Um, the one that I kind of had that I used for traveling um, kind of broke um, or just wasn't as effective. So during the Sephora VIP rouge sale, I got this one. Um, so it heats up pretty fast. Doesn't take that long. You can't necessarily set the con uh, temperature control, but I don't find that such a problem because I would turn it up too high and then kind of damage my hair. So I'm going to kind of straighten my hair. I've left it kind of to dry overnight and sleeping and this is what it looks like. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is put a heat protector in it. So I'm going to use the Ampica, um, wizard, right? So I just feel like to spray it in my hand and then kind of go over my hair just because I find sometimes it gets at the roots, but I do find it a really good, um, heat protector. Right? Kind of like I'll spray it kind of on this side. And then just make sure you're always brushing through so if you can tell how knotted my hair gets. And then always make sure you're doing smaller sections with it. So just clump back. And then I'm going to do my bangs. So I probably have too big of a section. That's kind of after one pass. So I do think you can kind of do that single pass with kind of just my bangs. I'm going to do more because I'm kind of trying to shape them. Right? But not too bad. Nice and shiny. Doing the next strand. So go slowly through. And you can definitely do a single pass with it. So I've been straightened my hair in a while, so I feel like I don't know how to straighten it. So taking that section and slowly going through. So you can definitely get it straight with one. Sorry, I'm just realizing I over curled that other section. Right? If you're going to do a larger chunk, your results probably aren't going to be as great. And just try and make sure that you're not clamping down too much and doing a really jittery because then you're going to get the lines in your hair. Right, so that's a larger section. I would just have to kind of go over the bottom. So depending on your hair, like texture, um, if you have really curly hair, I don't think it would be a single pass. Uh, my hair is kind of wavy, right? So it's not necessarily that tight of a curl. And it's more so at the ends. And just to kind of show on the other side. So I'm just going to kind of straighten off just so you can see a curl with it. Mm 
So I don't really use a straightener to curl my hair. It's a little hot to touch to curl it. There's your curl. I much prefer um, a curling iron to curl or like the Conair like curl your hair. That's really good. But I put a curl in and then to take it out. take a little bit so we'll let that deheat and then go so I do find it kind of cools down a little bit so I think if you have really thick hair this isn't going to be the best for you um because I do find it's not like it needs a little bit to heat up in between but I think it's not gonna hurt your hair and you can kind of do a single pass for it so let me finish off my hair and then I'll check back in Thanks. So after straightening, this is my hair. I did go over some sections a couple of times, but I think that's just more um, my natural habit, right? Of just being like chump, right? Of how I like to style. I do think if you were to go slowly over one section, you could be good. Um, I do think like it feels nice and soft and doesn't feel fried at all. So <laughs> maybe I was always using my hair straighteners at too hot of a temperature. Um, it does come with this nice little uh, holder so I can put it on top. It does get a little warm this way. So I don't think without a glove you want to be holding the top there because it is rather hot. Um, but overall, I think it's good. I think if you have thicker hair, you're not going to want the compact one. You're going to want the larger size one. But I do think it's a good product. Uh, for the price point. Um, sometimes I'm nervous about buying it from like the mall fenders and stuff like that or like where do you really go like Conair not the best for straighteners out there. Um, so it's just kind of hard to know are you going to get a good product. Yes there's probably cheaper ones out there because um, I got this one on Sephora but you want to make sure you're getting something that will last and things like that. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.